Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? Happy Monday or happy Saturday. You all know that, you know, this broadcast airs on several radio stations, different days of the week. So whatever day you are tuning in, thank you so much for your love and your support and encouragement uh, for reclaiming my life. Look, I'm excited today. I'm always excited. When I wake up in the morning, I'm excited. I open my eyes and I say, thank you, God. I can see, you know, I'm alive, you know, so how do I choose to live this day? You know, because today could be our last day. How do you choose to live your day? You have to live your day as if it's your last. Even if you're not feeling your best, do something to say, God, thank you for giving me this day. I'm excited today because I have the beautiful, the anointed, the lovely national gospel recording artist and author, Miss Sandra Busby, joining me. Welcome, lady. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. It is my pleasure to have you here with me today on Reclaiming My Life. You know, I've had you several times, so that must mean I love you. When I say, <laughs> you know, I had you on the show, Preach the Word Worldwide Network on the television show. You came and you blessed our hearts um, in song and with your testimony. And today I want you to come in and just talk about, look, understanding life and its challenges. This is uh, Sandra's book, Understanding Life and Its Challenges. And Sandra, if you don't mind, I just want to read a line from this book that really caught my attention. And it says, people have a tendency of identifying their strengths and talents. We fall short when we can't or won't identify our weaknesses. You know, I love that um, quote right there because it makes me think about, you know, so often I love to say, and I got this from T.D. Jakes, you know, he says, you know, we want to share our successes, but we don't want to share our failures. And we don't, when we don't share our failures, we're not giving the next person hope. If every time they see us, we're only, we're happy, we're successful, we, we're being awarded, everything's going great in our lives, but we, we, we refuse to share our downfalls. You know, then someone beside us is struggling. They feel like, God, why am I the only one? You know, trust, you're not the only one. We're all going through some stuff. So thank you for this, Sandra. Talk to us about understanding life and its challenges. Well, again, thank you, Claudia, for having me. You're so um, welcome. Understanding life is a challenge and its challenges it, is what is opposite of what we're taught as kids when we're here. Don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, this book you can judge by its cover because it means exactly what it says. Understanding life and its challenges. That means we love to say life be life in, but... Mm -hmm. The grand point of it all is that we're all here, one under the sun, and there's nothing new under the sun that God himself doesn't know about. There's nothing new under the sun that we haven't heard about. We're hearing all types of things that are going on now, but even these events aren't new because they were happening biblically as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so understanding life and its challenges is not a memoir, but it's a book to remind us that we are here to not just exist, but to live and to live according to the purpose that God has assigned for each of our lives. You know, I love that we're here not to exist, but to live, you know, it goes back to, you know, waking up in the mornings, you know, saying, God, thank you for this day. You know, hey, today could, you know, yesterday could have been my last day, you know, so live your life not to exist, but to live, enjoy life, be grateful for life. I love that. I love that. What inspired this book, Sandra? Life motivated <laughs> yeah to be happy in life um and but you know what claudia though but it was really geared to just like my music it's really geared to convict to help and encourage to basically yes encourage each other that listen there's no big me and little you mm -hmm. there's no your sister's going through and my family is perfect come on because the same situations that your family's going through trust it's in my family too even mm -hmm. if i can't identify if i dig enough is there yes um uh, so this book i was in 
my room one night and I was just toiling with the Lord and toiling all week trying to figure out because something was missing. The Lord, he's a gentleman, you know, mm -hmm. I would say he's a sweet gentleman. He's not going to push himself on you. Mm -hmm. And when he wants you to do something, have a specific assignment, he's not going to take a hammer and knock you in the head, but he will shake you sometimes until the fact that you feel like someone mm -hmm. just hit you with mm -hmm. a hammer. <laughs> and so that's where I was in my life, feeling like I was missing, mm -hmm. feeling like I wasn't making a difference, feeling like I had a voice and something to be said because I'm always talking to people on the outside. Even as a kid, I was, I was always the sage of the group, mm -hmm. uh, the one that had the answer for some reason. And my grandmother said, you have a wisdom, you take after me. She said, you have an older person wisdom that is far beyond your years. And people nor you will understand until you come to the terms of knowing that you're just different, Sandra. That's it. And so the Lord reminded me of that. And then I began to just write and say, well, Lord, what do you want me to say? I know I'm not supposed to be in the pulpit with the Bible. And he said, no, I want you to write about it. Mm -hmm. You know, bring this situation up and then talk about it. But most importantly, I want my people to understand is it's not just about how you go through the storm, like we love to say as a cliche, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until you learn from the storm. Because if you don't learn from your storm or your reason for your season, you will repeat it. Absolutely. You know, I'm going to have to stop you there because, you know, you said, you know, it was like you were the voice. You know, so when you said that, of course, <laughs> you were the voice. You were the voice, you know, for everyone speaking up, you know. But also mm -hmm. for me, it took me to, of course, you know, you're singing the voice. And then you also said, you know, well, Lord, I know you don't want me in the pulpit, but you know what? He was saying, Sandra, yes, I do want you in the pulpit because, you know, it might not be to be a, a preacher, a pastor, a bishop or an apostle, but you're there, you're, you're ministering through song, you know? So for those of you who aren't familiar with Sandra Busby, you know, so not only do she have a voice for reasoning and bringing things to light, but her music ministry, that's what God gave her. And I feel like when you said that, that's what God was saying to you. You know, no, you're going to use this voice to minister to people through song. And then listening to you talk about your grandmother, you know, and she was saying, you know, um, how, you know, your wisdom and how you were, you know, aged beyond your years. It took me to, and, and I'm not going to mess with you today, but it took me to blessed assurance. She, Sandra knows now I love when she sings blessed assurance because, you know, that's like, you know, the older people love that, you know, the hymns, blessed assurance, but it's something about when Sandra sings blessed assurance. Oh my goodness. It just, ah, uh, it comes all over me. So, but you know what? Y'all probably wonder, okay, you know, I would love to hear. I told her I ain't gonna mess with her today. So I'm gonna let her right. choose. <laughs> I'm going to let her choose, okay? <laughs> you know, but if you so choose to bless us at the end with blessed assurance, you know, hey, it's not me. I'm going to let you choose today. <laughs> pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> but, you know, I do want to touch on your music ministry. You know, not only are you a solo artist, you know, who is everywhere. You know, if y'all follow her on social media, which if you don't, please do. Um, Sandra Busby, you know, we'll give you that information, of course, at the end. And it'll be in the chat. We're also here Facebook Live as well on WBTK here today. Um, but Sandra, with your music ministry, you know, you're everywhere and you, you're, you know, meeting some of the biggest of the biggest, right? <laughs> so tell us about this journey. You know, how did you look, as people can say, I started from the bottom and now I'm here. Tell us about it. Oh, well, well, I'm not going to say I started from the bottom and now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I have so much, I have so much further to go. Um, but yeah, it's been a long journey. That's um, why you're here, music. where you are now, uh -huh. that mindset. Okay. All right. All right. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're so right. You're so right. Mm -hmm. I'll take that back. Okay. So now I'm here. Yes. Well, it's been a long, like they say, tedious journey. Like how we sing in the Pentecostal church. It's been a long, tedious journey, but Jesus has been right there by my side. Uh, mm -hmm. When I say I've encountered all types of discouraging encounters and things that tell me, well, tell me, sit down, tell me, leave it alone, tell me it's just simply not for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me you're um, thinking more than what it really is and you shouldn't go beyond where you were. Well, the Lord has done nothing less 
than to show me that I am worthy mm -hmm. of completing his assignment. Rather, it's supposed to reach the masses across the nations, across the oceans or not. My assignment is what my assignment is. And so I have to done a lot of things that I didn't see myself mm -hmm. doing, such as being on Dr. Bobby Jones twice. And mm -hmm. um, I've met some outstanding people, Karen Clark Sheard, and, and everyone that I had to mention her name because I love her. <laughs> so just yeah, she listening again. Um, <laughs> so I have come in contact with a lot of beautiful people and things have just been lining up in my path. And, and I'm always set with the mm -hmm. question of how in the world did this happen? For example, our meeting, um, Claudia, it, you know, that example right there was just what in the world? Yes. You know, I called for one thing and then I end up talking to you and I was like, wait, this is the same, this is the same um, group. Is, you know, we're in the same era here. Yes. So, <laughs> and so that's how God has been setting it up for me. Mm -hmm. I end up with one person to the next and they lead me to one person to the next person. My God. Now, with that being said, though, um, that has brought a lot of condemnation my way as well because people, some people look at me and say, you shouldn't be there yet. You shouldn't have done this yet. And how come you did this? Mm -hmm. And then I get a, Claudia, I get a lot of scrutiny behind it. Um, I get a lot of, you're not important enough behind it so mm. you shouldn't be here. Um, but the Lord prevails yes. every single time. Mm -hmm. Every time he prevails to show me what his, uh, purposes. I love to use the word purpose. Yes. For my life, I have no choice. I have no choice but to do as I'm told. Mm hmm. You know, I love that because a lot of times, and I had to learn that as well. You know, sometimes people will look at us and wonder, you know, how did we get the opportunity? Or, you know, sometimes they would try to, mm -hmm. um, uh, they would say it's not intentional, but it's intentional dis to, to discourage us, to make us right. feel like, you know, you're not ready. But what I had to learn is stop waiting for approval. Stop going to people, you know, to ask them what you think, because when God give it to you, that's the only confirmation you need. So go forth and do his work. You know, sometimes <clears throat> you have to. And when you get those encounters, Sandra, you know, just say, OK, Lord, thank you. And my favorite phrase, count it all joy. Move that person out your way, baby. Okay? Move that person and keep moving. Because the next person, that's the person that's going to encourage you and uplift you and put you in the position to meet the next. Okay? You know, so that's what any of you all who are struggling with, you know, wondering if you should be there, if you should be doing something. Did God give it to you one night when you were laying in your bed and when you woke up that morning? So why are you questioning? Why why do we even question what God give us? We're worthy. Right. We are <clears throat> worthy. We are enough. You know, we're not less than anyone else who may may have already succeeded. OK, because they had to start from somewhere, you know. Y'all gonna exactly. get me, yes, y'all gonna get me started. But look, our time is winding down, and um, I do want to give Sandra that option. Um, before, <laughs> before she let look, I tell you what, let's do this. Let them know how they can contact you because y'all, her name now is S O N D R A. That's S O N D R A Busby B U S B Y. So please follow Sandra Busby on all social media and purchase her music y'all she got some good music i was blessed to be in the studio with her last week when she uh recorded her latest single the city so let right. them know how they can get your music and everything all of that as you said you can reach me uh, my name is what it is it's sandra busby s-o-n-d-r-a-b-u-s-b-y um and on twitter is sandra dot busby and uh at x or instagram I'm sorry, Twitter mm -hmm. is at author Busby and Instagram is Sandra.busby. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to think about what Claudia wants me to do here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but follow me on Facebook, YouTube, like and subscribe, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, all the musical platforms. You can find my music there. And I would really, really, really appreciate your support and all that you can do. Yes. And y'all, you know, if you're looking for an artist, book her, book her. You know, you will be tremendously blessed. So book her. Um, so she already let me know, you know, that she's going to take us out. Look, she's going to do a little bit of blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Whatever you are going through today, please know that Jesus is yours. OK, and that you can reclaim your life. I'm going to let Sandra take us out. This is my favorite hymn. And 
Thank the Lord for Claudia. I've got to be obedient. <clears throat> Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine, oh mine, and oh what a foretaste of glory divine, well, 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 well. I'm an heir of salvation. I'm a purchase of kinds of gods. Well, I'm born of his spirit. And I'm washed. I am washed in his blood. Jesus, 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 thank you, Sandra. Jesus. I love you so much. Look, y'all, book this woman, book her and buy her book. Understanding life and its challenges and purchase her music. She's a blessing. I love you thank so you. much, Sandra. Thank you so much thank for you. being here today on Reclaiming My Life. I love you. You have just heard Reclaiming My Life with life coach and author Claudia Massey. To get your copy of Amazon's number one best selling book, Reclaiming My Life, visit the website www.contactclaudiamassey.com and tune in each Monday at 12 noon for Reclaiming My Life with coach Claudia Massey here on WBTK 1380.